All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you how to update your Axon 7 to Oreo. Shout out to the Z community, and this is the front camera of the Axon 7. So let's get this thing going. Complete walkthrough. This is for the non techies out there, but some techies you can follow along because I know you know how to do it. But uh, it's your man Jay, and let's get this video going. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So this video is a complete walkthrough on how to install Oreo on your phone. Now this is the Axon 7. This is an older phone from a couple of years ago, but it's still a hot phone and a lot of people still have it and I still love it. So this video right here is for techies and specifically for non-techies, people who have this phone out there who, um, who still have it and want to get the latest operating system on there. You're gonna have to do a silo. You're gonna have to put this into developer mode and you have to walk through and do it uh, yourself. It's not an over the air update, which is OTA. And even if you're a techie, just follow along if you didn't know how to do it before. I'll have links in the description for everything. So my phone is not on Oreo right now. It's still on uh, 7.1.1. So the first thing you need to do is find an SD card and, and pop it into your phone. You Just get at least an eight gig SD card, all right? And so then next you want to go to this website right here, zteusa.com, and you go to the Axon 7 like you're going to purchase it, but you don't need to purchase it. You go down to the bottom here and click on software updates. Now, you want to go to the second option right here. Today is October 12th, and that is why I'm doing it on this day so you can see exactly how it goes out. Today is launch day for this. It should say October 12th on there. It's the second option, Axon 7 B20. SD card package. You have to do this through the SD card. Download this to your computer. It's 2.28 gigs. After you get it downloaded to your computer, drop it onto the SD card, the root of the SD card that you have in your in your phone, right? So now um, you want to go to down to about after you do that, and you want to tap on, scroll down, tap on the build number, and it's telling me I'm already a developer. That's why I've already done it, obviously. So after you do that, tap on that about five times, then go up to additional settings and then scroll down to developer options. You want to make sure you turn on OEM unlocking, right? And it'll prompt you to enter your password after you do that. And then you want to make sure USB debugging is turned on. That's what you want to do. Make sure those are turned on. Now, you can back up your phone if you want to. I personally don't have a reason to back this phone up. I know all this on here. I'm going to download the same applications um, you know, so, you know, I'm running Nova Launcher anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me because I have this setup right here in Nova Launcher, uh, so I can just restore from Nova Launcher. But if you don't run any kind of special setup, make sure you back your phone up so you can get all your stuff in the way you need it. Now, after you move the package to the SD card, to the root of the SD card, the root of the SD card is basically like, don't put it inside of a folder, just drop it right onto the SD card. All right. That's what you need to do. So in the settings, ZTE has it before they want you to proceed. They want you to, um, to go to Google and remove um, your Google account on the top right. So we'll follow it the way they said. So they want you to go to settings and then they want you to go to Google. And then they want you to go up here and remove the, the, SD, the, um, the um, Google account. All right, remove account. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so my account is removed. Now, you, you, if you don't have your SD card in there, in there already, put it in there, and then you want to power down the phone. Power it all the way off. When it powers off, then you can go to the next step. So when you get to this screen, you can let go of the power button, and then it should go into developer recovery mode. If you continue to hold down the power button after that screen, you're going to find yourself going to a boot loop. You're going to be accidentally hitting that re reboot system. So now you want to hit apply from SD card. This is what you want to do. Hit scroll down with the volume key. Well, you know what? Let's let's do a factory data uh, wipe first. I like to do that um, just to clear everything out, man. So you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but everything's going to get erased anyway. So doing a fresh install, you formatting the entire disk in the phone and that's going to make it good. So now you want to go down to install apply update from zip card uh, SD card. You'll see it in here right here. It's the second option down. You hit the power button when you scroll down and it'll start verifying the package and then it'll go through the installation and then you'll have a fresh new copy of Android Oreo on your device. So let's let this finish. It's verifying the package and everything. It's finding it. It's checking it. It's opening it. It's verifying it. It's doing its thing. So just be patient and let it go through this right now, and then we'll get back into the phone in just a minute. 
Now that took a little bit of time, but you should see install from SD card complete. If you get any kind of warning messages or anything, just let it go through on its own. Don't do anything yet. So we're gonna reboot this now that it's ready and you should have a nice clean install of Android Oreo. And we're gonna go into the settings here and check it out once it reboots. Now first boot on something like this normally could take a while, so don't be discouraged and get scared if your phone takes a long time to boot back into the OS. So if your phone goes into a spot where it doesn't turn back on, after you hit reboot, just hold down the power button and it'll start right up. There it is. Sometimes when you hit reboot, when you're coming out of recovery mode, uh, it'll, it'll power down. So I just hit the power button and it reboots back up and we should start to see it get into the OS. And remember, just let it go. Don't, don't mess with anything. Don't keep powering it down. The first boot on a clean install sometimes takes a very long time. And for those that always ask, you know, oh man, mine doesn't have the on-screen buttons. Remember, this is a developer edition of this phone. So don't worry about yours not having on-screen buttons. Still got those banging speakers. All right, so phone's booting up. Let's see what we get. We should be on 8.0. So I got a little buzz. So now looks like I'm getting ready to get into my setup screen. So here we go. Let's go. United States. I'm going to skip all of this for now. And I'm going to just set up as new for now. And I'm going to skip this for now. I'm just going to get us in there. And I'm going to skip all of this. And I'm going to skip this for now. I just want to get you in the phone. Man, it feels good to be back on this, man. And here we are. We're in here. So, yes, it's definitely got Oreo because it's got, got the icon set up now. Nothing's on the phone, man. All right, so let's get into settings. And let's see if there's any bloat or anything. You got the Dolby Atmos on there. You know you got to have that. I'll get that set up. Uh, Base enhancer for sure. I'll get that set up later. But looks like there's nothing, not really a lot of bloat or anything on here. All right, so... Let's go down. You get, yep, here we are, man. We got the new setup. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. ZTE has come through, man. They 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 really taking care. Look at its battery life. 31 hours remaining with 65%. Told y'all don't sleep on this phone. All right, so let's go in the system. About, and here we are. Wait, let's see here. Let's go to system update and allow, allow. And there's the B20. And here's another update. Oh, it's trying to it's trying to pull. <laughs> I was about to say, man, it's trying to pull it off of there. Let's get out of there. It's trying to pull it off of there. So here it is, 8.0. 8.0. Four gigs of RAM. Yeah. So there it is, man. Um, I'm gonna remove this SD card. But here it is, man. The Axon 7 is is alive and well in 2018, man. So I'm gonna take this bad boy through the ringer once again. We're gonna check out the cameras and see if there's been any improvements. Or anything like that. Well, we're just going to do it all, man. We're going to make sure we give you a run through for this phone, man. Times lab, super night, super slow. Yes, it's looking hot, man. We're looking like we're ready. We're looking like we're ready. So there you have it, man. That is how you do a complete walkthrough and update of your Axon 7. Mine's still looking crispy because I keep it in the official ZTE case, which is what I think you should have gotten back in the day. But there it is, man. The Axon 7 is now officially updated. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to share the video if you want to. Head over to the Z community because that's where I hang out sometimes, all the time, really. And uh, do my thing and follow Z community on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already doing so. It's your man, Jay, and I am out, folks. Oh, I saw seven back in the house. All right, for those that stay in the movie theater after the movie is over and look for the bonus footage, well, here it is, folks. So I've been testing this out, man. Oh my gosh, it is so much faster on Oreo. Now remember, I've had this since launch, man, two years ago, and this phone is absolutely great. You're gonna experience some crazy speeds. The intro that I shot for this video is actually done after the phone is on Oreo, so that gives you a, a check, and you know, a, a, a real world test to see if the cameras have been improved on Oreo. I don't know. There's no promises made by, by ZTE about the camera or anything like that or battery life. I just know that this phone now is on Oreo. And man, it's, it makes me question like not because I know a lot of phones out there release, um, you know, later on down the line that come out brand new. Like there's brand new phones coming out right now still releasing with Oreo. So 
it's, this phone right here, man, is is it's getting ready to be another hot one. It puts it back on the chopping block for people to purchase, man. So if you don't have an Axon 7, you probably need to hit Swappa, eBay, or whatever, because no phone right now has these kind of speakers with the Dolby Atmos, man. Oh man, I'm 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 really like falling in love with the phone all over again. You guys knew when I first uh first was rocking with this phone, man. It just is one of the hottest. The speaker quality is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. It's so good. Anyway, man, uh, it's your man, Jay. Uh, thanks to ZTE for always taking care of us, man. They, it doesn't matter whether you come late, but as long as you come, you're good to go, man. So much much respect to ZTE and the Z community. Uh, shout out to Samer and um, Brett. And, and all the guys over there, man, I appreciate you. Anybody, I don't, if I didn't mention you, man, I, I, I'm just in a whirlwind right now. But I appreciate these guys over here in the Z community that's coming through and making everything happen, man. This is crazy right here. I can't believe this phone got it, man. Wow. Now, the equalizer, whoo, you got to set this, man. You got to set this up. Look, you got to love this, man. I always have my EQ set up for Dolby. You can see where I, how I do mine like this I get it like this and boy 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 this is crazy I'm telling you man I'm I'm super excited to be able to have this this phone man still check these speakers out I got a car Woo! With an I don't mean I oh man car. I mean I went from I want a car Woo! Alright guys, welcome back to another oh, video. Oh man. Yeah, man. Oh man. The 16 by 9 ratio is in a full effect. Picture in picture. Boom, look at that. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, man, it's your man Jay. Bonus footage for you on the Axon 7. It's flowing. I got all my apps in here. I got my social media and everything going on here. The phone is flying now that it's on Oreo. And it might sound kind of crazy. Oh, you just saying that because you know, you know, but I'm telling you. The phone feels great. I like they update the app, the icons and everything. Don't have to use Nova Launch anymore. Everything is ready to go, man. This is about to be on and popping. I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.